So Halo 5 is a fantastic game, coupling the competitive nature of Halo 2 with modern trends to keep Halo relevant. This time around, 343 has decided to go with an increasingly popular philosophy of games as a service. This means the games will have constant updates, and in Halo 5's case, on a monthly basis. In addition to new maps, we get new weapons, new features, new armors, and a whole lot more. It's a way to keep players coming back to a game they enjoy because they want to try the new things out. And the best part about it is it's all free thanks to the crowdfunding of Rec Packs. But there are some problems that come with this. And as much as the community is loving this new direction, they can see holes are forming from how 343 has handled it so far. So let's start by talking about the bigger issue straight off the bat. And that's the accusations of Halo being an incomplete game. Firstly, I agree that it's not exactly quote unquote complete, but I think that's the wrong terminology to use for the missing features. We got a fully featured campaign, a great multiplayer with an awesome unlock system, and more armor and weapons than any previous iteration. What we are missing though are popular game modes, a few options in the menus, and we were, until recently, missing Forge. Anyways, to me, that shouldn't count as an incomplete game that isn't worth $60. We got a lot of bang for our buck with this game since we get all those things at launch and many more later for free. And in my mind, that doesn't scream incomplete to me. I mean, to cite an example, Destiny seems way more incomplete and still is a year after release because there still aren't many activities for players to do. Hell, there's probably less to do than there was at launch, but I'm not here to talk about my opinions on Destiny. We're talking about a game that doesn't try to steal your money? But even if I don't classify it as incomplete, it doesn't excuse the fact that we are missing things that should have been at launch. Mainly the big point of contention are the game modes. There's no infection to play on Wacky Nights of Custom Games, no Oddball, King of the Hill, or Ricochet to play when you want to have some fun, casual game types in Arena, and no Gurf Ball, which effectively makes it so an entire community can't persist on the current iteration of Halo. 343's push for a more competitive Halo was a smart move from their perspective, given Halo Region 4 failed in that regard. But not having a balance of casual play and competitive play that was nigh perfect before alienates way more players than it brings in. Then there were big things that weren't at launch such as Forge, which I didn't think was a bad move since Forge came out really really awesome. But the fact that it didn't release with a decent fire browser makes me wonder in the 2 month extension that they gave themselves, why it wasn't considered. Moving on, let's talk about how Halo has benefited as a service rather than a product. We've had 2 updates so far, Shadow and Light and Cartographer's Gift. And as of this recording, Infinity's Armory is releasing in the next week or two. Both previous updates have been pretty cool. There were a lot of new armor to use and weapons to play around with. I'm actually giddy when new details for an update come out. To me, there's always something refreshing when I see new things are coming to something I love. From the new maps to just the bug fixes and feature additions, I love them all and I hope they keep this model for Halo moving forward. It's also good since 343 can listen to the community and model their updates to please the fans even bringing brand new items that weren't present at launch. Things like the Spanker and now the Halo 2 BR. I mean at this point I wouldn't put it too far from them adding new vehicles either. Did anyone say UNSC flying vehicle? But as great as it is, I gotta go back to the problems of it, and the problem's pretty big, and I sincerely hope it doesn't continue. This problem being that 343 seems to be holding back content to meter it out slowly in updates. This is what I fear has happened to things like missing game modes or even simple things like no post-game metal screen. It's starting to seem like 343 has made a bowl with cereal and things like milk and maybe some bacon is to be added later. Albeit, it's a very nice bowl of cereal and the fact that people have enjoyed just the bowl so much for the last couple of months is a testament to what a fully healthy 343 breakfast will look like. And once again, please don't take this to mean that I think Halo 5 is an incomplete game because I still don't think it is. And also, one side note, I'm not talking about bigger things like maps and weapons, since a lot of people that make accusations that they're holding things like that back don't seem to understand the difficulty of game development, especially in a unique sandbox such as Halo. I'm more talking about the smaller things like game modes or smaller features like bulk selling wrecks. So that's pretty much it on what I have to say about Halo as a service. I very much enjoy the system and I'm actually eager to see more games implement it, especially if it's free. This kind of system is the best when a developer wants to change the game based on heavy community feedback. Since the game has launched, we've seen even little things get added to make the experience better, like little blips on the leaders in each category on the scoreboard, to seeing the location name in a map when you're dead. This all shows that 343 is listening, and will continue to listen and provide loving care to a game that we all care deeply about. But I once again want to emphasize that leaving things out at launch while planning on adding it later, if it rings true that is, is not a clever way to go, and I very much hope it changes soon. 
Most of the communities can see that game modes are on the horizon and a bunch of UI changes are probably coming, but the fact that the game didn't start out with something that previous games have always had is a little unsettling, no matter how great the base game is. And that's it. What do you think about having Halo as an ever evolving experience and how do you want to make it better? Leave it in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time. Come on now, it's alright, let your emotions show